Welcome to the Game Ramble first look video for Eight Doors Irem's Afterlife Adventure. I'm Dark Cloud, joined by Nimbio, Mrs. Cloud. So today we have another Metroidvania style action platformer, although this one is very story driven I hear. Let's take a look at these settings. You can adjust the background music and sound, select the language and resolution, and choose between full screen or windowed, as well as enable or disable the screen shake. Hmm. And then there's the key settings, keyboard, and the controller settings for controllers. So we have a dodge, transformation, next weapon, skill, potion attack, jump, and then the movement and map. Don't see any visual options in the game, but since it's a 2D title, it shouldn't matter too much. What makes this one unique is that it only features three colors, red, black, and white. Oh wow, so it's going to be very stylish. Yeah, you can already see from the title screen that it's a very stylish looking game. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. Mm -hmm. You can select story difficulty, which is a difficulty... Well, they say it was is a difficult game that was designed to have players learn, grow and overcome hardships, but the story difficulty setting is suitable for players that are new to side-scrolling action games, or those who do not prefer challenging gameplay, as normal is the default. I think we will go for normal. Like the paper background. So all the characters in this game were drawn by hand in 2D frame by frame animations. Was apparently heavily influenced by Korean folk tales, and the protagonist is a girl who is voluntarily entering the realm of the afterlife in search of her father's soul. So the eight doors in the title refers to the eight doors of purgatory she has to go through. She's got there now. <clears throat> Looks like they're reluctantly agreeing to take her where she needs to go. It's over the river sticks or something. <laughs> We've arrived. Are you having second thoughts? There's no time for that. Dive in. Hey, what are you? There she goes. It's like they weren't expecting that. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like swimming. Mm -hmm. Coming to the land of the dead on her own. That's interesting. A room, was it? Good luck. Mm. So the adventure begins. Assuming this is the afterlife. The afterlife. They never stop coming. What are you doing here? You're in search of your father? Death is inevitable. This is no place for you. Go back to where you belong. So you can actually choose to ask for help or remain silent. You're an annoyance. Head to the Death Tavern and search there. I can't help you anymore. Take these if you need them. Well then. Just up to pick up whatever you dropped there. So I now have a scythe, it seems. Is the A button to jump or hold A to jump higher? 
controls feel pretty responsive. And they start you off with a high jump right from the bat. Yeah, it's usually the double jump that's unlocked in these Metroidvania style titles. So to attack, press the X button and repeatedly press X to perform a combo attack. Each weapon has its own combo attack and some attacks deal more damage. Guessing I'm gonna get something to attack now. Oh, rock. Okay. Not very good for the side mm -hmm. And there's a creepy looking enemy with a rotating head over there. <laughs> Looks a bit like, um, what's that other horror movie? The Grudge. Yeah. Well, there's 36 different types of spectres and 21 bosses in this game, so. Should be a challenge. So you can press the B button when your health is low to restore your health points by using potions. Cool. And you've got three potions on you at this stage. Nice. I see I've got two coins as well. I wonder what those will be used for. Jump down, press the A, and down. Stick to jump down under the platform. Hold the key to pass through multiple platforms at once. So whatever I want to explore ahead. Are they hiding here? Rivet! A spectre! Wait, what? You're no spectre? Did you come here alone, Rivet? Is that supposed to be a frog? <laughs> it's a duke croak, croak or something. What? How? For real? That's nonsense. <laughs> I must be dreaming. Oh my, this is surreal. To meet a living person here in the purgatory? What? You're here to find your father? Hmm. Hmm. I can't believe I'm doing this, but, Ribbit, I'll guide you to the death tavern, Ribbit. My name is Dukrok, Ribbit, the most merciful being in the purgatory you'll ever find. Many know me as the faithful Dukrok, Ribbit. You are fortunate to have met me, Ribbit. Now that you've, you're with me, just follow my lead, Ribbit. The first place spirits visit in the purgatory is the Death Tavern. There you'll be able to find the whereabouts of your father, Ribbit. And that's what happens if you don't follow directions. You end up with a frog on your head. <laughs> so I can press the map button to check my map. And it shows that the Death Tavern is somewhere to the right. Now I'm tempted to go back down. More things to decide. Some nice money for the tavern. Mm -hmm. I know this game will have secret areas and things like uh, typical Metroidvania. Don't spend it all on booze now. I don't think she's allowed to legally buy booze. Mm -hmm. So press the left trigger to roll. You can evade obstacles and spectres attacks by rolling. But you can't roll while attacking. There's some obstacles and attacks from spectres that you cannot dodge by rolling. So left trigger. Oh, so it's like something that's going to be useful for bosses. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just rolled into a barbed wire fence by accident. Mm. Okay. Assuming that's another enemy. Luckily all the spectres in purgatory have money. <laughs> Basically just mugging them all now. Yo, person. So this begs the question, where does spectres go when you destroy them in purgatory? <laughs> Something for the philosophers to mm -hmm. ponder. Do they have souls? Are they souls? That is a good question. My what is worse than purgatory? Good question. Here we have a... Life is shorter and death is longer than you'd think. How would you like to cease to exist? Was that a safe spot? Possibly. I hope so. It wasn't exactly clear. Here we have a 
for the inspector. So what do you think of this limited palace they're using for the game? Yeah, Makes everything actually look more crisp and stand out. Mm-hmm. No, it's very soothing on the eye. And stylish. Yeah, everything marked red stands up way better this way. But, uh, it's a very cool art style. Let's see, the levels branch off in all directions, so it's a bit of exploration so far. The spectra designs are quite cool. Curious if it's based on actual folklore mm -hmm. sketches or designs, or if these are original. Okay, that's never good. Mm -hmm. But I have a roll attack, I should have probably use that here. Mm -hmm. Don't blame me, takes time. Blessings to you who has found this place. Dawn of the Death Guardian, the essence of extinct guardians of death. Pray to them to acquire their power and learn a new skill. I can use my power to expand my body to do a what do a Xini form. Ribbit. Dushini form. <laughs> Once I'm in my what form? <laughs> Dushini. Dushini. Moving that boulder will be a piece of cake. Ribbit. I'm assuming your my Korean is not very good. No. So Reaper, Messenger and Pathfinder skill paths it looks, it looks like and we have this one here. Press the right trigger to transform Dukrak to, to his expanded form. You can press the right trigger again to shrink him down and okay. it requires one dawn. Looks like I've got one dawn so let's obtain that. That's interesting. <laughs> Cool. Okay. Ah, and he's a monster jumper. Still doesn't help me to get up there. I guess I have to... Yeah. Ah, there we go. Uh, so I'm pushing this big thing. <laughs> I finally reached where I can stop running. So, I'm still confused about these shrines. Are they mm. save areas or... Yes. Well, my health has been replenished, so I guess they are something. Mm. We'll find out soon enough. So right trigger to transform, left trigger to push and pull. Mm. Very handy from. Yeah. Okay, probably and these are back there as well. Yeah. Yeah. So there's another dawn token thingy up there. You need to use a frog to jump up there, maybe. Mm, I think it's gonna be too high. It looks like you need a block. Mm. I don't see one. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's hope it's not fragile. <laughs> Shatter at the bottom of it. No, nope, ah. sturdy. So that's pretty neat. Not too difficult to figure that one out. It's a barrier. Obtain the tone of death god here. So looking at those three skill trees, it looks like there's quite a few abilities. Yeah, they're quite interesting as well. Be able to unlock. Some type of range attack or projectile attack we've got here. <laughs> the music is also very what's the word? Mellow, mm. very after life ish. Getting better with my dodges. Mm. 
So to the right here is the tavern, but there's also a path going to the left. Spitting sound sounds very authentic. <laughs> takes it to, to perfect that. <laughs> Hope your soul will be safe. This must be safe spots. See the checkpoints or safe spots. I open this here, I've got my inventory. Which has my weapons and valuables. Your Perk. And in the settings, I'm not seeing a save options so I'm assuming that those shrines or whatever they are will be there. Should mm. probably have gone to the tavern first if this is a boss. Mm. Together we make a new world. Mertley. That looks vicious. Yeah. It looks like Myrtle is a boss. Mm. A ferocious one with Large red fangs and red claws. With the red fangs, the it's natural color or is that blood from the previous victims? Uh, you have to ask if that was solved. I'm not gonna go close to that thing. Luckily, that haircut of it makes it easier to dodge, I think. I don't think you can quite see in front of it. That's what I do see is that there's no health bar for Myrtle. Makes it extra hard, eh? So yeah, it worries me a bit. So, uh, there's also no damage indicators, you know, like numbers or whatever. You just see those black ink spots flying out. Yes. It looks like it's getting aggravated at me, so I must be doing something right. It's always a good sign. Well, it's got a pretty easy pattern to spot. Oh, it's got a new attack. Okay. Let's keep my distance from him. He's vicious up close. Oh, and he can turn around now as well. That's not good. My health bottle still, but I don't seem to replenish a lot of health. Yeah, uh, down to the last one. Did I make it? Oh, that is the way. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Myrtle is gone. We got the unknown flower. So I think it's also a good spot to end this video. Mm. And yes, this game is out now. Check it out if you like Metroidvania titles with unique art style and very challenging gameplay. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, bye.